All right, it's time for part seven of our series of uh, setting up your development environment for working with Gunner Technology. And today, or in this screencast, in this part, because we'll be doing a lot of these today, uh, we're going to look at configuring uh, GitHub because we use GitHub for a lot of our projects. So basically, again, from so I'm using a new computer from scratch to set this up. So uh, it's a nice iMac, by the way. Um, and so here's what we're going to be doing today. And uh, so what you're going to do is open a terminal window here. And uh, you can just basically run the, um, the commands as it lists it right there. So the first thing we're going to try to do is change directories into the SSH directory. Oops, no such file directory. And the doc says if you get such an error, you can skip to generating a key. So we're going to jump down to the next step, which is right down here. Um, if you have one of those, it just talks about backing up uh, your, your existing RSA key uh, or RSA ID. So we're going to jump to this step right here. So this is what we're going to be copying. And uh, you're going to replace what's in the brackets with your uh, GitHub um, email account. So just wipe this up. And mine, the one I'm, I set up is GitHub at GunnerTech.com. And so we're just going to hit enter for every default here. And boom. There it is, that's what it looks like. So um, now we're going to, um, it says launch this, uh, uh, open a browser and launch the account page and you see I need to clean up the wiki here because it's not formatted properly. Uh, but we're just going to open this in a new tab. And so here is our profile and we're just gonna click, go down here to SSH public keys. And so here's some existing public keys and we're going to say add another public key and we're going to say Cody's iMac as the title because that's the, that's the uh, machine we're granting access for. And we'll come back here and we'll follow these steps here where it says um, the next thing we're going to do is copy the um, contents of that RSA ID to the clipboard. So this command makes it really easy to just grab um, that um, with, without any returns or anything like that. So now it should be on the clipboard. Um, didn't have to run anything, just ran that command, so it should be on the clipboard now. So we can go back to our account, and we're just going to paste what we have there. And before we do this, I want to show you what it looks like if you try to access before you add the key. So uh, the test is running ssh git at github.com. And because it's the first time we run it, it's going to ask if we want to add this fingerprint. We're just going to say yes. And we get permission denied. Uh, GitHub will not let us in there yet. So we're going to add the new key now, add key. And let's try to run that again. And so you get this output. It says, hi, Gunner Tech. You've successfully authenticated, uh, but GitHub does not provide shell access. This means we're good. We're, we're in. We did our job. So GitHub is now configured for um, development, and that's really all there is to that step. Uh, next time, we're going to look at uh, setting up hosting environments, as you see. Uh, but that's it for step seven, I believe. So talk to you next time.